I head to the fresh water stalls where the fish are still pouring in. If there are no giant stingrays coming out of the sea, then perhaps I'll find one here. Any, any uh, cabane here? Maybe cab No, no? No? So no stingray here. I mean, I, I don't know how many thousands of fish I must have seen here this morning. The tides really do love their fish. They eat pretty well anything that swims, it seems. But the freshwater ray is not here. And this could be because it is rare. It could be because it is just hard to get out of the river. Or, you know, maybe there is another reason that I don't know of. But uh, I haven't found one. To learn more about this elusive monster, I'm meeting a scientist who has more hands-on experience of this stingray than anyone in the world. Dr. Ning from Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok is one of the few people trying to study this animal. Our first task is to collect some water from the bottom of the river, some 30 feet down. One thing I want to know is whether this ray is a true river fish living in pure fresh water. Oh, that's it, that's on the bottom. We're only six or seven miles from the sea here, so I'd expect the river to be quite salty. In my mind, this puts a question mark over claims that the giant stingray is a true freshwater fish. Now then, this is the moment of truth. You haven't looked at it. If this were pure seawater, the salt meter would give me a reading of 30, with brackish water at around 15. So that is that is right on zero, which I'm, I'm actually quite surprised by because it's you know very obviously tidal here. You know, I had my doubts about whether this thing is a truly freshwater animal. I mean, you know, I think that is something that still requires a bit of unpacking, perhaps, but it is certainly capable of living in water that is absolutely fresh. There's no trace of, of seawater at this point at the moment. So, in theory, they could be even further up these rivers. While I'm here, I also want to find out more about the stingray's lair. This stretch of water is less than half a mile from where I hooked the monster that broke my rod. Look at that. That's what's on the bottom here. Thick mud is going to give my quarry a big advantage. They're going to get a very good seal and very good suction. I now understand why I had such a battle to pull up this animal. Just imagine that's the stingray. I mean, that, that actually weighs nothing at the moment. I can lift that easily. And just getting a little bit under the mud. There we go. And I can lift that. Look at that. Ah. So, if that stingray gets the edges of its wings under the mud, I'm not just trying to lift the stingray, I'm trying to lift the whole bottom of the river. One of the things I want to find out about this fish is just how heavy it gets. Now, for a small fish, that's not a problem. You just put it in a bag and you weigh it. But for something the size of these things, we've had to come up with something a little bit special. 